Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the Sunday night live stream search for Silver with me, Raven of Raven Hawk Coins. And uh, good to see, got the early birds in the mix, like normal, Ty Hitman, Des Logic. <laughs> I'm just teasing, man. Just busting chops. Uh, guys, tonight I decided we're going to give away another walk and lib for the industry giveaway. This one is going to be an AU58-1943. This is a beauty. What's going on? Matt D in the house. Ty Hitman, Des Logic, Leslie W, Chris Nab, C.M. Silver. Ohio Coin Collector, Sergeant Stacker in the mix. Leslie says, wow. Yeah, that's a stunner, huh, Leslie? So that's going to be the end of stream giveaway tonight. For those in chat, and you never know what will be added. We'll flip that around so you can see how gorgeous the eagle is on this. And this guy always undergrades a little, in my opinion. Uh, but very, very cool. Uh, 47420, bro. It is super cold here in Oklahoma as well. Uh, we're supposed to be getting snow, and with wind chill factor and whatnot, it's it's supposed to get pretty crazy this next uh, couple days. Uh, trucking for silvers here. Luke Wilson, Rochelle F., how you doing? What is new, my friends? You know, I forgot to do something here. Do this real quick. While we're here, and all right, J Dog in the house. He says, "Oh, you didn't know. You better call somebody." <laughs> Budget Bullion Stacker, Canadian Ryan, my brother from up north. How you doing, my friend? Good to see you. Matter of fact, I'm a little behind, guys. I almost didn't start on time. Uh, literally running by, by, the, by the seat of my pants, so to speak, you know? But good to see everybody here. Hoping we find a lot of silver. Trucking for Silver says... Uh, Low negative five and high of seven. Rockzilla's in the house. Katie Bailey, how you doing, Katie? Good to see you. All right, so Walter Winter, I'm doing very good, brother. How are you doing, my friend? Good to see you. That's what I do best, Chris Nab. <laughs> yes, sir. I'm always, I'm always running by the seat of my pants. Okay. So we have, um, I think we have two spots left for the night if you're wanting to get in. Uh, the silver for tonight is the uh, 2016 Australian Kangaroo. And, uh, and you get a pull from the Relic Bag. The Relic Bag has Merc Dimes and Copper and Magnets and all sorts of good stuff. G-Dub in the house. Jesse O, Sublime Mad Dog. How you doing? Breeze for me. Bill Gibson, King of the LTD version 6.9 is here. We still have the Bill's Bounty Coins, guys. If we find a Magic Coin or a 1970D, we plan on giving those away we really hope sometime here in the near future that that hits and you know what i need to grab a couple things for the giveaways guys but good thing they're right here i don't have to go very far and uh coin silver in the house bruce doc smith how you doing bruce good to see you and so we have some proof nickels going to everybody tonight in the giveaways oh wow that one actually busted up and we're there we go along with some silver in it all righty jesse oh how you doing jesse good to see you today and then we'll go merc down merc down and then this this is for the end of stream giveaway 
go an ounce of copper there and one here alrighty so we're almost ready to get into this and have a good time Toto D Toto D Alistair Black on the attack Daniel D'Ambrosio what's going on my friend good to see ya all right, Tommy's channel, Golden Silverman. How you doing, Golden Silverman? Welcome to the show. Good to see you, Fleabag. Coin Silver, how you doing? All right, guys. Let me see if we have anything updated in uh, PayPal or not, and then we will start from there and see what happens. All right, let me log in. All right, so, yep, we're still at the same spot. We have two spots available for tonight. Uh, Mustang Dave won tonight's extra rolls on top of being a part of tonight's stuff, so very cool. Congratulations to Mustang Dave. He also won a limited edition magnet as well. And uh, uh, you know what? The bot might need a reboot. Hold on. Let me, let me reboot this thing. Give me just a second. I thought it had booted up, but it looks like it didn't. Sometimes that happens where it doesn't sync up at the beginning, which is kind of a pain. But it'll be on in just a second because I need it. Excuse me also for the giveaway, guys. And sorry about the hiccups. I have. Uh, like I said, I started trying to get stuff done for the show, and then I had to deal with some stuff with the kiddos and just everything all at once all right so now it should be going zombie fighter what's going on we haven't started the giveaway yet but we will do that right now so let's reset this all right so this is early bird uh copper merc proof and stickers we'll get that started and all right so there we go good luck to everybody get your entries in while you can and for good luck we're gonna do a quick suzuki And the count is accurate. So far, 18 boxes, 49 NIFCs, 20 90 percenters, 104 40 percenters, 24 proofs, 16 plated. So we have found quite an assortment already in the first month and a half. Good to see S. Lazinski, Richard Staping, Sappington here, Just W. To Jones is here. How you doing, To Jones? Uh, Aiden Gallegos, Old Town Homestead. Nicolette's Hobbies. Nicolette, I opened up your thing earlier today. Thank you for the win and the sticker. That was awesome. Uh, but I did open that on the live stream. Scott Jarvie in the mix. Uh, oh, screen says sold out. That is, that's not supposed to be like that. I am not sold out. Sorry about that. <laughs> oh, man. I'm, I'm my own worst enemy, huh? All right, guys. So let's get rocking on this. First person up tonight is Rockzilla. We're going to open up this bad boy box here and ah, hopefully find some silver. Uh, we found silver in the last four streams, guys. So if we get it in this one, that would be stream number five. So we got two, four, six, seven rolls. Deslot or Rockzilla's up first. Plus, he gets a pull out of the bag. See what it's going to be, guys. Here we go. Boom. Hey, wait a second. Hey, Miss Raven? Hey, uh, this is in the pulls. Can you look at this real quick? Did you make some of the... Uh, yeah, but where's where are they? Oh, you got them here? Where? No. 
nothing in there. Sorry. All right. All right, cool. All right, so we got a wheat penny pull. How many is in the bags? Uh, 20. And when you get a wheat penny pull, guys, you're going to get 20 random Wheaties put in there versus just a couple. So that's going to him. And uh, thank you. I just sent for some rolls, says Walter Winter. Okay, Walter, we will check it out here. Give me one second. And Leslie W. says, thank you for all you do, Miss Raven. And Miss Raven says, thank you. All right, give me a second to check what we got here. All right, so Walter Winner with a $25 spot. Thank you very much, Walter. Alrighty, so where am I at? Okay, so I got his silver, got his wheat pull, and we're going to rock it. What's up, Maria Cervantes in the house? What's going on, Maria? Alright, guys. Guys, right off the bat, first roll, a 2006 proof, and that thing is in decent condition to the point where... My fingers are clean. I've got bags here. We're going to put that in the bag. We can't handle the proof. But can you believe that, guys? Already starting off with the proof. And that's a nice one. Like I said, 2006. Bing. We're going to put that under the scope. We're going to get the walker out of the way. Aiden Gallegos, what's going on? Here we go, guys. I mean, that that doesn't look too bad for being out in circulation. All right, let's see what else we got here, guys. Something looks interesting here, but I can't see a date on it. Hold on a second here. Oh, that's the ugliest 73 I've ever seen. <laughs> All righty. Wolfie Olin. What's going on, Wolfie? Check PayPal. Give me just a second, my friend. And uh, we'll see what we got. Hey, we got another find. A 2015 NIFC coming out of the great state of Denver. And where is my hunt box? Uh-oh. I am missing my box. Oh, well. I'll use this other one. <coughs> And I'm told to check PayPal, so I'm doing that right now. Give me one sec. Okay, something had to have come in, but it hasn't hit here yet. I don't know why it's not showing up. Um, as soon as it does... With a name and everything. And I know, Wolfie, you said to check. Sometimes PayPal is kooky. But as soon as it shows up, I will I will get it updated. And uh, did I update the, the sheet on here? Hold on. I probably didn't add Walter. Right? All right, so we have... Oh, it looks like it's getting updated for me. Thank you. Uh, <laughs> oh, man. Sergeant Stacker, you are awesome, dude. You are on the ball, that's for sure. All right. Let me check PayPal one more time to see if it finally updated. Hmm. All right, guys. I don't know what's going on here, but it still hasn't showed up, my friend. Hey, Catfish Arg, how you doing? Fishing full 1972. What's going on, my friend? Welcome to the show. And uh, all right, let's get into the next one. 
Early bird giveaway still has 30 seconds to go. Um, Tommy's channel. All right, next roll. Thank you, Sergeant Stacker. You rock. He says, I can keep up with it. That's awesome. Hector the Silver Collector. How you doing, brother? Sparkle Flare. Kellen L. What's going on, my friends? Fubar, how you doing? Hope you're having a good evening. And uh, guys, thank you for being here. I know the Super Bowl is starting up here really soon, so I'm actually really stoked that everybody's here hanging out with me on Super Bowl Sunday. I plan on, after this, watching whatever is left of the game. And uh, I hope it's a good one. To Jones says, super what? <laughs> All righty. So let me, uh, let me get over to the giveaway here and see who won in three, two, one. Chris Smith, ladies and gentlemen, Chris Smith is the winner. Congratulations, sir. You just got yourself an ounce of copper, a proof, a merc, and some stickers. And thank you for being a part of the show. And again, that's Chris Smith. And uh, guys, if anybody sees Peter Bowes out there, please let him know that I uh, I was going through some stuff earlier and I found a box that had... That's why I did mail this morning is because of this. But I found a box that had a package for him and I felt really bad that it didn't get mailed out. But it is going out Monday. <laughs> Aiden Gallegos brain, blames Tom Brady. Look out. Uh, let me check something here real quick. See if this finally updated. All right, that's weird. It's still just showing Walter as the last person, so we'll wait a while. What's up, Savvy Stacker? How you doing? Good to see you. Hope you're having a good day. It is freezing cold here in Oklahoma, guys, and we're supposed to be getting some snow here in the next couple days. It's supposed to be a pretty interesting uh, week, and I like snow, but I went outside for half a second uh, to just throw something in the garbage, and it is insanely, insanely cold. Wolfie Olin, yes, I understand. I it just hasn't updated yet. That happens sometimes with with uh, PayPal, and this will actually be the last show that we have the twenty five dollar tier. That really wasn't supposed to be up there, um, but I will uh, honor it for for the show, of course, because it's still there, and I appreciate everybody. You guys all rock. Good to see Stabby here. And what else was I talking about? Um, but yeah, Wolfie, I've checked like three times, and I don't know why it hasn't updated a name yet. Uh, but it it does that from time to time. I've had some shows where it didn't show it until we were already like halfway through a full box, which is really kind of weird. You would think that when they're dealing with people's money, that it would be you know the same. Uh, Corey W., it's just going to be a $50 tier. That's it. We're just going to do just a $50 tier. The $25 tier with the price of silver and everything doesn't really... It's not really uh, the right way to go. And it also messes up um, the way that the boxes work as far as the count and whatnot. <laughs> See, everybody, Rochelle Lift didn't win this time, says Amy. <laughs> That's funny. All right, next roll, guys. Come on, can we get something good? Man, there's been some really dirty halves in here. Like somebody found these in the ground and turned them in, which, hey, nothing wrong with that, you know. What's up, Silver Streak? How you doing? 
Nicolette's Hobbies. Thank you very much, Nicolette. I was very appreciative. I opened it live this morning, and I think it's a really cool uh, item. Matter of fact, it should be... It should be here. Somewhere close by. Like I... I have too much stuff on the desk again. Oh, here it is. It's <laughs> sitting right next to my hand. There's the coin, and then I got a Nicolette Hobby sticker. And I thought that was really cool. All right, Des Logic. Here we go. Last roll. Come on. I don't see silver, and I don't see gold. I just see a lot of. Half dollars to hold. <laughs> J Dog likes the slabbage. Alrighty, guys. So, Des Logic, my brother, first roll. Looks like we don't have extra besides the two fines, but still not too bad. You know, a proof and an NISC to start off the night. Actually, this is Rockzilla. I don't know why I keep saying Des Logic. I've said your name probably like 50 times, huh? Well, thank you, Nicolette. All right, so this is Rockzilla. Not, it's Rockzilla, not Des Logic. <laughs> there we go, Rockzilla. Thank you, my brother. Up next is Josh v -v 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 Voss. And let me check PayPal again real quick. Hopefully it finally updated for me. There we go. Wolfie Olin, ladies and gentlemen, with a $25 spot. Let me, uh, let me update that. Hmm. Four rolls. Oh, you know what? I keep messing. With, sorry, <laughs> Sergeant Stacker. I did it to you again. All right, guys. So there's really only one spot left available for tonight, a $50 spot. So uh, if you want to get in on the second box, there is one $50 spot available. And Wolfie, thank you very much for your donation. I do appreciate it. Rockzilla, no problem, my brother. All right, so up next is Josh Voss, ladies and gentlemen. Josh Voss had a $25 spot. I am out of war nickels, which actually works to my disadvantage, but he's going to get two dimes and a pull out of the relic bag. Let's see what he gets. Here we go. We got a wheat pull, so he's going to get 20 Wheaties to go with his mix. And uh, here we go, two, four rolls, and hopefully we get something good out of his rolls for him. Those of you that weren't here earlier, the Endostream giveaway is going to be this beautiful lock and lib right here that you see under the scope, 1943. It is AU, not quite BU, but it still has Beautiful details, cartwheeling, the whole nine. And that's for the end of stream. And thank you, everybody, tonight for being a part of the show, making it fun. Hopefully we find some silver because that's what I really want to see is some of that beautiful white silver to make this the fifth stream in a row that we find silver. Keeping those fingers crossed, you know. And Chris Smith won the giveaway, Dwayne Mansell. Chris Smith. So let me put here Wolfie. And again, thank you again, Wolfie. 25. All right. Riley, so far we found a uh, proof, 
and an NIFC. That's what we found so far, but we've only been through seven rolls or something like that. Or yeah, we're on we're on person number 2. So we haven't been through that many rolls just yet. So to find something right off the bat was pretty cool. Hopefully we find more in here. I want like we all know so say hey, we got a 2015 ask and ye shall receive NIFC number two. Woo woo. <laughs> but uh, what else is going on? Um, there was something else, guys. And I can't remember. It's eluding me. Oh, well. If I remember, I'll bring it back up. Muscle Shell, how you doing, my friend? Alistair Black, what's new, brother? Hope you're doing well. Tommy's channel in the mix. Chad Smith, what's up, Chad? How you doing? All right, so here we go. Roll number four for Josh Voss. And uh, we'll see what happens here. Come on, Silver. Hey, we got another NIFC 2008 Philly. So that's number three. Mr. Marmello. The box Raven goes South Africa. Modern Rugby. Did you get my mail? Me, Raven. Uh, Marmello, yes, you're waiting on a... Uh, credit card or whatnot to come through is what I understood and yeah we're holding that aside for you we'll figure it all out when we get to it right all right so Josh thank you very much my brother up next is the one and only madman Chris Nab. now Miss Raven must have misread that because Chris Nab had two spots. So let's see what he gets out of here. What the heck? I, it seems like I keep pulling wheat all of a sudden. That doesn't seem right. Hey, Chris, Chris Nab getting a mag, the magnet and copper. All righty. So let me grab a magnet for him. And I lost track on my count. I need to go look at the last stream to see what the last number is so that I can number these properly and move forward and not mess everything up for everybody, you know? All right, and there's the copper. And then, like I said, if there's somebody who still wants to get in on the box, there is one spot left, guys. One spot left for box number two. Alrighty, so he gets 14 rolls. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen rolls, my friends. Let's see what we get. Come on. Mr. Chris Nab, let me check real quick. Mr. Marmello, I think uh, Chris got in before you. Like, literally just got in. Um, yeah. Uh, uh, Mr. Marmello, Chris Nab got in right before you, brother. I see the, the payments there. It just hasn't updated the name yet. Uh, but Mr. Marmello, I do appreciate you doing that or, or wanting to. It does. It means a lot because you're wanting to, you know, support the show. And I always appreciate everybody that's a part of this because, you know, guys, I couldn't do the things I'm doing without you guys doing what you do for me. And it means a lot. That's why I try to make sure that I have giveaways and trying to make sure that we still keep 
an ounce of silver going, you know, with the prices right now. If you go to Atmex right now, a kangaroo is like 35, 36 bucks. You know. Hey Deborah Walls, how you doing? Good to see you. Um, no, I think it's actually we're, we're sold out. Um, I forgot to hit the button. Matter of fact, let me uh, let me hit that sold out. Thank you very much, everybody. I do appreciate you guys. Like I said, let me get back over to. There we go. Alrighty. Number 10 was the last one. Cool. Thank you. That means Mustang Dave is number 11 and this is number 12. Alrighty. So when I get to Mustang Dave's, I need to remember that. So 12. And going forward on the other ones, I'm going to I'm going to number them ahead of time. <laughs> oh, you guys are awesome. Chris Nab, give them to Mr. Marmello. Hold mine until next time as I already have my rolls. Okay. Um, so Mr. Marmello, Chris Nab says I can hold his uh, 50 until the next show if you want to still get in, brother. Oh, wow, guys, actually, it looks like it wasn't Chris Nab that got in there first. It's uh, Josh Voss. I spoke too soon, guys. Josh Voss actually got in there, and I see his name. Um, so, I'm guys, I messed up. I made a big mistake just now. I announced that it was Chris Nab when it's actually Josh Voss. And PayPal is not updating fast, so I just assumed by what Chris said that he was already in there first. So I apologize for that. Chris, I know that I can take care of it for you. Um, so it's really up to Josh. Josh, do you want to be part of tonight and uh, let Marmelo be a part? Or do you want to uh, hold on to it? It's, it's up to you either way. Jag Wolf. What's going on, Jag? <laughs> yeah, I don't make mistakes. I make a lot of mistakes. And you know what? Here's the thing. When I make a mistake, you guys know how I am. So give me a second here. We're going to add something to the end of stream giveaway. Just because. And it's actually worth something. How about a 1964 quarter at what things are going for right now? That is literally $7.50. Tonight says Josh. Okay, so Josh, you're in there. And I apologize for the confusion with PayPal. I really... PayPal is, is a great tool in a lot of ways, but in another ways is a real pain in the keister. Because I have Walter Winter, then uh, Wolfie, then Josh. All right, so 14... All right, and uh, I'll figure out the other stuff at, when it comes through as well. Chris Nab, thank you, my brother, for being a part of it all. I know, Mr. Marmello getting getting the double whammy. <laughs> uh, zombie Fighter. Yeah, right now, Zombie Fighter, uh, it's about $7, give or take. Uh, the... 90% silver on Atmex was selling between 28 and 29 times face. So at 28 it's 14 bucks at 29 or at 28 it's 7 bucks at 4 Ah, 28 would be 7, 29 would be 14 and a half. Or 7 and a half. God, Lee, my math is ridiculous tonight. I keep messing up numbers. What is going on, my friends? I do not know why I'm having an issue with simple math. I think I need to go back to school. Earn me another degree. 
Get me some Mo Edumacation, so to speak, right? <laughs> oh, man. Uh, guys, so those of you that want to know about the Peppa Pig Seeker Math 725, yes, that, that's the number. Oh, man. Shane Kennedy ordered a clad proof quarter from Atmex. They sent me the 96 silver proof by mistake. Nice. Well, that's a good mistake in your advantage, right? So $1 face, you're looking at 14 to 15 bucks, Canadian Ryan. No, I'm sorry, that's not right. A 50% is 14, so 28, 28 to 29 bucks for a dollar face value. That's a, that's a lot. Of, but, you know, but that's insane, though, because, guys, uh, not, not just a couple months ago, we were getting uh, constitutional at, you know, 14, 15 times face. Then it jumped to, like, 20. Then it went back down to, like, 17 and kind of huddled there for a while. And now it's up to almost 30. You know, <laughs> Aiden's still blaming Tom Brady for everything, right? Uh, what's the silver percentage? And so it takes three ninety percenters, half dollars to make an ounce of silver, or just it's like it's not a perfect ounce. I think there's like a, a little over or a little under, um, but it takes a dollar fifty to make an ounce of silver, basically. Because a 50 cent piece is like a 0.35 or something like that. So it ends up being like 5 extra percent over. <clears throat> At this time, I'd like to announce my 90% halves for auction, says Alistair. <laughs> <coughs> Yeah, dollar forty, Sergeant Stagger. Which the reason I say a dollar fifty is the way that just it works out, you know. Uh, Mr. Marmello, I'm sorry, buddy. You know, you, you're always allowed to buy in advance. That's that's for sure as well. So if there's ever a time that you're like, hey, I want to get my spot way ahead of time, you're able to do that. But I also understand that you know some people don't have the luxury of doing that, or they don't want to wait, and that's understandable, you know, um, because you're dealing with people's money, and you know people like to see their stuff uh, handled sooner than later, so to speak, right? Painted edges, Paul, Paul Paul's garage. How you doing? First time here in a sit. Well, Paw Pauls, thank you for coming in. Hope you're having a good day, my friend. Yeah, Sergeant Stacker, yeah, there's that fine line in, into what it ends up being. That's for sure. And um, But I always, you know, pretty much did the, the, the math that I knew I was safe is three half dollars equaled a little over an ounce of silver. Um, you know, so... That, that's how they, they work that angle. And, um, you know, it makes makes perfect sense. How to tutorials, tips, knowledge. Buy physical bar bullion. Don't buy custom fancies. And silver is the most undervalued metal. Yes, I believe that. It is very, very uh, undervalued. But, you know, it also... It didn't reach the, the, the points that people um, thought it was going to reach. You know, people were literally speculating $50 silver, you know, and I was, I said, no, nah, I think, I think it'll probably get to 30, bounce around and then go back down. And I was surprised. I was actually right. Um, you know, but it's all speculation. So I can't. Because I get lucky here and there, you know, say that I'm 
I'm the informative expert, so to speak. What's up, West Point Fever, brother? How you doing? Hope you're having a good night. Mustang Dave, exactly. Nobody really knows what the markets are going to do until they open and start moving. Guys, we got an NIFC in the mix. 2014 Philly. That's number four on the NIFCs. But this box has been a stingy one as far as we have not seen any silver. We've had proof, though. Got a proof. Got some NISC action. We need some silver. At least a couple silver because we've had that streak. You know, we want this to be stream number five because that would be nice. And I love giving out silver. You can't go wrong. Walter Winter says that uh, Mr. Marmello, you could have his $25 spot if you wanted. Um, yeah, if, if he wants to do that, Walter, that's really cool of you, man. And really, really nice of you to offer either way. All right, Chris Nab getting one of the magnets finally. And the rest of his stuff there. I know, huh? We want a 90% sandwich situation, Coin Junkie AG. Silver sandwich situation. Matter of fact, I need to make... That's another thing I forgot to make. I forgot to make the shirts for that. All right, so up next, ladies and gentlemen, is Budget Bullion Stacker. He has two... Four, six, and roll number seven. Can I get him a... I'll just take some full rolls of silver, please. All right, we got a copper. So he's going to get a one-ounce copper. And I don't know why I didn't bag some of these ahead of time. Silver for budget, says Jag Wolf. <laughs> Oh, guys, so another thing that's coming to Ravenhawk Coins in the very near future is, and uh, let me get this taken care of real quick, is going to be an extra camera and uh, what will happen is Oh, well, I didn't put on my thing, but what will happen is when I do that, you guys will see my mug. <laughs> All right. So, yeah, we're going to have a extra camera. I got to see where it fits on the screen. I think it's going to go right here um, by the Raven, but I'm not sure yet. And uh, what's up, Louie Taylor? Ah, so SD Bullion spot is 2743. Budget Bullion, maybe one day a wireless Peppa cam would be cool, right? Rogue Hunter Coins, what's going on? All right, guys, we got something that looks interesting here. We got another NISC 2015 coming out of Denver. That's number five to stay alive. St 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 staying alive. Raven's going Hollywood, says Jag Wolf. Oh, you know, I figured if I'm doing my face on, uh, you know, the, the streams where we do interviews and whatnot, I might as well let you guys see what my face looks like when I'm uh, doing the searches so you guys can see facial expressions of some sort. I still plan on wearing sunglasses, though, just because I... Uh, I'm kind of shy, believe it or not. <laughs> but yeah, guys, I'm going to get another webcam here in the near future. I just have to save up for it. Um, you know, I'm not working right now because of COVID. I have to stay home and stay quarantined because I have a compromised immune. 
And my doctor basically said, uh, you need to stay home for quite a while. And, uh, you know, do, do the uh, quarantine thing. Which is kind of a bummer, guys, because I've been home for a long time, as most of you that have been with the show uh, for a while know. Um, I have been indoors for, golly, most of this last year. Um, and, you know, that in itself gets kind of kind of difficult at times just because, you know, I think people are social by nature. And honestly, this stream and the other streams that I do make such a big deal for me to be able to talk to you guys and hang out. I need a Peppa can so we can see her gnawing on his leg. <laughs> no doubt, Dave. She is a she loves chewing. Um, <laughs> Forty-seven four twenty says I'd be wearing a luchador mask if I was on camera. Nice, um, but uh, but you know having the ability to do this stuff with you guys. Walter Winter. Okay, that sounds good, my friend. Let me uh let me check and see if PayPal finally updated here, guys, cuz this is really weird how it is. It took quite a while for Wolfies to come through. Alrighty, So Huh. All right, so Chris Nab, I have. It looks like you're a hundred for the next time. What the heck? Why did it split it in two pieces? Okay, that's really weird. But we'll we'll get it figured out. <laughs> All right, let's look at the next role here, guys. Uh, Shane Kennedy, um, I've done a lot of different stuff, man. Uh, I work for a pretty large retail company um, doing some stuff. I don't really get too into what I do because, you know, some of my, uh, my personal life stuff I just kind of keep on the cuff. But I've I've done a lot of different things, um, you know. I got a lot of a lot of different history and background. I've worked in construction, uh, worked in the medical industry for a while, um, you know. So a little bit, a little jack of many trades and a master of none, right? Guys, we got another NIFC coming out of 2015 out of Denver. So that's number six on the night for NIFCs. Part-time <laughs> Yeah, Shane Kennedy. I've done a lot of stuff. But, yeah, but some of it, you know, some of the things, if I'm too specific, you know, it kind of uh, lets, lets a little too much personal information out, which I don't mind sharing certain things with you guys, you know. Um, but but we have to have some, some kind of privacy, right? All right. Sorry, budget brother. Looks like you got yourself a couple NIFCs to go with your silver and copper. Brass junkie. What's going on, brother? Aaron Brenneman says he's a full-time slave to the wife. <laughs> hey, <laughs> Aaron, that's funny. All righty. Um, up next, guys, is Breeze for me. And she has two, four, six... And roll number seven. Get her her ounce of silver. And she gets a copper one ounce pull. Very cool. Chad Smith say, said, aren't we all? Yes, sir. Des Logic says, come on, 1970 Denver. I know, because we want to spend Bill Gibson's money, guys. You know, and if we can get the 70D or we can get a Magic Coin. Remember, Magic Coin is the other one. If we can get one of those, we finally get to spend some of Bill's money. 
and uh, then move on to some new coins, you know? All righty. Brass Junkie, it is really cold here, and they said we're supposed to be getting uh, possibly down to 7 degrees, and then with the wind chill factor, minus 17, which, guys, you know, Oklahoma <laughs> doesn't usually get that cold. Uh, Des Logic, that's because I added that to the end of stream giveaway for making my mistake earlier. But yeah, the, the yeah, it sounds like we're we all of a sudden we're living in Canada in the middle of the United States. What the heck, eh? Aaron's doing anything to avoid the football game. Uh the two thousand uh the proof was a two thousand six St. Kennedy. Two thousand six. In the first first roll of the night. Yeah, the proof was 2006. The NISC was a 2015. Seems like tonight 2015s are prevalent in this box. Uh, most of the NIFCs found tonight have been from 2015. Kind of strange. But, you know, that happens when stuff gets dropped. In, you know, uh, collection dumps. There's a lot of people that collect a group of things you know we'll buy a roll of halves and have you know 40 of the same or 20 of the same uh, date and whatnot so it would make sense that if you get a small part of a dump that you get a lot of the same repeating uh numbers because well you know how we do it guys we try to get things in rolls <laughs> as much as we can uh, let's see here. Nice Friday night for Rob. 30-something proofs, and most of them were 84s. Wow. So they must have been looking for something um, in the 84 sets, you know? There's there's certain errors. I don't remember every single error that's out there, but there's a lot of them. And some years of Kennedys can actually be pretty nice if you get them in the right condition as far as value. I have not, guys. I was gonna do some songs, uh, guys. Another 2015. <laughs> there we go. We were just talking about how they come in runs. That's number seven. Um, hey, and another NISC. But now we got a new year, 2003. Number eight. Unbelievable. Speaking of unbelievable, anybody seen Weave Man recently? I know I haven't seen him in a little while. I hope he's doing okay. He's always been such a big part of everything, so hopefully he's doing okay. Vincent Porcella, how you doing, Vince? Good to see you. Give me just a sec here, guys. All right. J Dog says NISC first, silver next. We're hoping. We're hoping. Oh, guys, guess what? I uh, I think it was, I think it was Hillbilly. I'm not a hundred percent sure. The Peppa Discord at uh, Mr. Marmello. NFC, feel you need to room and be private, buddy. Don't get ca cabin fever, please. Wear that Peppa Discord. Yes, guys, we are probably going to be having a Discord here in the future and uh, being set up by Mr. Marmello at some point. We'll see how that goes. Here we go. We got Desk Logic 2, 4, Six, 
seven rolls. Thank you very much, Mr. Marmelo. I appreciate it. This is Mustang Dave's roll right there. Because he gets two. He won the two free rolls. And I almost forgot to put stuff into this and to breeze for me. Breeze, yeah, I'm sorry about that. I almost messed up your uh, NIFCs there. All right, so that's now in there. I know. Come on, at least one silver. David Donovan, how you doing, bro? Good to see you. Hey, we got another NIFC 2002 coming out of Denver. That's number nine. And Maria Cervantes says, "Good luck, Des Logic." And definitely good luck, brother. I always, you know, honestly, guys, I always want to see a bunch of silver in the boxes. One, it makes for a really fun night. And two, time just flies. Jay Ram, how you doing, Jay? Hope you're having a good day. If we, uh, guys, another NIFC 2015. That's number 10. Making its way out of Denver. Uh, hopefully... We get some silver in these last rolls and definitely in the next box because I really want this streak to stay alive. I didn't put it in Death Logic's bag. Um, but I, I did do your copper right there, Breeze. There's your copper. And we got a pull for Death Logico. Copper for Desk Logic. Uh, I don't have a Discord yet, Hector, but we're going to probably get one set up here in the new, near future. We're going to call it Peppa's, Peppa's Disla, or Discord, something like that. Aaron's at 1.4 degrees Fahrenheit. Woo! That's blistering heat, guys. Blistering heat. <laughs> All right. Come on, Silver. And thank you, Breeze, for helping me on that so I didn't forget something there. I appreciate it. Alrighty, come on, Silver. Where are you hiding? Where are you hiding? Huh. <laughs> A 2017 D Roadrunner coins. Yeah, there's a 2018 is pretty prominent too, as a year in uh, NIFCs that are out in circulation. Uh, to me, the 2018 seemed to be a lot. And uh, Aaron Brenneman, I saw what you said about 2018s. I'll make sure to get you some. Thank you, Breeze. I appreciate that. I do, I do, I really, really do. Do, 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 do. So, what else was there? I oh, hey, guys, we got a proof. Ha! Huh. It's a clad, nineteen seventy six. It's, it's a proof. The, the, the cameo is not really there much anymore, but it is a 76 proof. That's surprising. Aaron Brenneman, you're welcome, brother. Here's a painted edge on a 74. I'm starting to get better at those paint, knowing what the painted edge ones are. They used to be a little bit more full, yeah, but I think as they... Go in circulation a little bit longer. They're easier to spot, of course. Louis Taylor says proof. Deslogic said I was going to ask for a bicentennial. Nice. 50-2017-D proof, uh, NIFCs for Roadrunner. Wow. Guys, that's a bummer. Ha! You know what? 
I was just talking about the 2018. There it is. Dun, 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 dun. Hey, guys. Unreal. All right. So now we are through box number one. And uh, we are going to do the midstream giveaway. Thank you, Des Logic, my brother. I appreciate you. Midstream giveaway, and we're going to take our midstream break as well. So here we go. We got a couple stickers, ounce of copper, a dime, and, and a uh, proof nickel. Over here, we also have... Uh, two stickers, proof nickel and quarter. That's going to the end of stream along with the AU Walker. So let me get this set up real quick for you guys. All it's going to say is midstream giveaway. So this is midstream. And uh, good luck, everybody. Got that going now. It's got a longer timer, so no stress there. And I will turn on the bot. And we will be back soon. Ravenhawk Coins, stay tuned. All right, everybody, I am back, and I'm ringing the bell. I'm rocking on the mic. I'll let the fly. Oh, never mind. <laughs> All right, everybody, hope you're doing good. And uh, so up next, guys, is CM Silver. He gets seven rolls. Let's crack open the box here. We got three... Five, 
Seven rolls for CM Silver. He has a $50 spot. He also gets a grab out of the bag. What's it going to be? We got an ounce of copper. Going to CM. Everybody telling CM good luck. And guys, hopefully CM Silver can get us our silver going. And uh, if we don't get any, I'm keeping the fingers crossed that we do get silver. But if we don't get any silver on the night, I'll add something to the end of stream giveaway um, just because. All right. So here we go. Good luck, CM, brother. Thank you for being a part of this. CM Silver, still my top all-time donator to this day, ladies and gentlemen. Guys, we got another proof. 1973 San Francisco proof. We can't handle the proof. That's number three on the proofs for tonight. Hey, Silver Wishes. How you doing? Catman Dooism. That's why I'm going to Catman Do. I really, really, really going to. If I ever get out of here, I'm on a Catman Do. do, 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 do. <laughs> oh, man. I want to do some singing here soon. Hopefully, I'll get some energy in the morning, one of these near mornings here, guys, so that we can do some songs. Proofs in both boxes. Come on, silver, says Chris Nab. I'm telling you. So, guys, yeah, we're going to have my face on camera in the near future. I'm also going to get a new scope so that we have no more vibration issues or issues on focusing or anything like that. Silver Hair Seeker, what's going on? Jag Wolf, I love Bob Seeger. Bob Seeger does rock, and... Uh, that song, Catman Do, is fun to sing, actually. If I ever get out of here, I'm on a Catman Do. do, 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 do. Um, yeah, I like Bob. I grew up, my, my parents like him, you know. Uh, Brass Junkie, thank you for asking. They're still sick. Uh, they're still, but they're getting better. They're, they have a lingering cough. And, uh, you know, I've been coughing, too. Thank God. God, I, I'm telling you guys, I am so happy that we found out it is not COVID. Jaji Music Man, good to see you, Jaji. Uh, we don't have any COVID in the house, but man, you know. Oh, here we go. Papa Frank Guido says, sing it to me, nephew. When a binge hitcher, I like a big pizza pie that's amore. Yeah, uh, Aaron Brenneman, I'm going to get something really cool uh, scope-wise. I'm going to – I really want to make sure that I can get one that can focus in and focus out. You know, um, this last one, I did a trade with it, and when I had looked it up, all the stats and stuff, the reviews said it was good, but then when I got it home and practicality of using it, it just wasn't as good as it should be, you know. Brass Junkie, yeah, I'm glad they're improving, but it's, it's such a bummer hearing their, their poor little lungs, you know, every time they, they cough, you hear that crackle and pop, it's like, ooh. Vincent Pochella, before I logged in, I was hunting nickels, found in 1939, a couple 40s, a few 50s, and a 36 buffalo in 20 rolls, hoping for silver, nice. Hey, Native Warrior, what's going on, brother? Good to see you, cousin. All righty. Anybody that's native is a cousin. And uh, that's just because we're all related uh, one way or another, guys. You know, it's just how it is. We got another NIFC 2010. Now, CM Silver does not collect NIFCs, guys. Um, I think he would only want a 2020 if he could find it. But he does not. And Maria says, hi, cousin. Yep. Vincent Percello says, hope you guys feel better soon, Ravenhawk. Thank you, brother. I appreciate that, man. It means a lot. And I don't get on here to whine about, you know, my 
health issues all the time, guys. It's just something that's, you know, kind of prominent in my world with, you know, having to... Hey, we got another NIFC 2006 in the mix. Having to dodge this horrible disease that's out there that afflicts a lot of people and unfortunately has killed so many. You know, when you when you think about, hey, Silver Leaf, how you doing? When you think about the sheer numbers of people that have died. Uh, CM Silver, most people keep 87s. I think you would. I forgot about the 87. <laughs> Um, the sheer number of people that have died from COVID is pretty staggering, guys. You know, um, it's just uh, half a million people in the United States almost. That's that's a lot of people. That is this one <clears throat> one good sized city gone overnight. Yeah, four hundred seventy five thousand deaths. Wow, that's just sad. You know, it really, really, it's sad. It's hard to concentrate at times because of it. All right, so you got a proof in there, CM. It's uh, it's not the greatest proof, but you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to throw that in there. Now, I know CM doesn't keep NIFCs. So, CM, what I'm going to do is I'm going to start banking your, your NIFCs. And uh, we'll we'll trade them out at a I don't know what is an NIFC or a thirty a forty percent of these days is wow it'd take quite a bit but but CM we're still gonna make it so I'm gonna put those in the end of stream and you have credit for two NIFCs I think every six NIFCs I think. Nah, I'll make it every four for you, CM. Because I didn't pay that price for those 40 percenters. I paid for those 40 percenters at older price, and I'm not going to... I don't I don't gouge. All right, guys. Next person up is Thomas Tripped on a Nickel. Very cool. Thomas Tripped on a Nickel. And he's got his $50, or his silver. And guys, Thomas got himself... The sticker. So he gets number... Was it number 12? Oh, man. I'm so dumb. <laughs> no, he gets number 13. Thomas tripped on a nickel is getting number 13. Alrighty. So let me... Number 13. Alrighty, I'm going to write here, magnet, number 14, next number. Alrighty. Middle of the stream, thank you for asking, Wolfie. We did not pick that person yet. Three, two, one, boom. Roadrunner coins, ladies and gentlemen. So Roadrunner Coins wins the midstream giveaway. Congratulations to Roadrunner. And uh, Thomas tripped on a nickel. Gets two, four, six, seven rolls. Roadrunner coins. Hopefully he's still in the show. He might have might have walked away for a minute. I uh, unfortunately I didn't get to make it over to the Redneck Stacker uh, Redneck Metals uh, auction tonight, guys. There is a poured silver uh, auction going on on Redneck Metals, and uh, Mr. Marmello, thank you very much, brother. I appreciate you. Alrighty, so that is Roadrunner that won the in middle midstream. So Roadrunner, if Roadrunner doesn't claim this in a couple minutes, guys, uh, then we'll, I don't know, we'll figure something out. Alrighty, so now we're on Thomas tripped on a nickel. Turn off the bot. 
get some open room here. Oh, so guys, I am going to announce something really cool right now. So starting in probably a week, because I have to figure out the logistics and uh, which uh, mods are the first people to do this, but I am going to start having once a week a guest on the streams, and that guest can be for both, both shows, both the main night shows if they want for the one week. Um, and so I'll probably make a video on it here uh, in a couple days as well. But what the parameters are going to be is I'm going to put it up. It's going to be available for the mods first as, uh, guests and you'll be able to hang out and talk to me while I'm doing the, the chat. You'll be in a window like you would on another panel show. Like we do our Monday night panels with seeker and Rob finds treasure, um, and so I'm going to leave that open to the mods first because they work really hard. And I think if they want to be a guest on the show and be able to have some fun and, and talk back and forth while we're doing a search, that uh, we'll, we'll, you know, we'll go through the mods, giving them priority first, and then uh, we'll start having other people as well. And you don't have to show your face. Thank you, Jag Wolf. I appreciate that. Uh, you don't have to show your face. Uh, it'll be, you know, you can just be your voice and whatnot, but there's going to be certain things, you know, you have to make sure that you don't, of course, curse or do things like that, you know. Um, thank you, Vincent Porcella. And then after we run through some of the mods, then we'll start opening it open to uh, people that support and watch the show. <clears throat> Riley Hunts Coins. Um, yeah, I'm going to let other people be a part of it as well. Uh, I'd say the parameters are just that <clears throat> you're interested. You know, if you have content, that's great. If you don't, no problem. Um, I don't mind having people. But, you know, basically you'd have to sign a little contract that says you're not going to say any any cussing and things like that. Uh, Silver Banky, how you doing? Mustang Dave. <laughs> Uh, I think you'd be fine, brother. Um, but I want to do that. You know, I think it'd be really cool to get some different, you know, uh, conversations and stuff going on and allow people to, you know, maybe come out of their shell a little bit. Let let people put a voice with a name uh, that normally we don't hear, you know. Silver Banky in and out with the game on. Yeah, Silver Banky, is it good so far? I hope it's a good game. There's one thing I don't like in pro sports, and that is boring, boring games. Aaron Brenneman does clean cussing. Bigfoot says cool. Yeah, you know, I don't... Here's the thing. I don't care if it's small things, you know, like ass or things like that. But but to, to the full-on curse words, no. Nah. This is a family-friendly show. It's not a kid's show, but it is family-friendly. So we got to keep it that way, you know? Walter Winter, I looked at Silver Seeker does to change NISCs. He does eight for a forty percenter, five for a ninety percent, eleven for a Walter Winter, I appreciate that. I but I think some of the the math is off there a little bit, but I'll have I'll have to check it out. But yeah, I want to do something fair. Uh, for people to be able to turn in their their uh, their their NIFCs, so for uh, that makes sense. Eight of them for forty percenters because of the price. But right now, because I didn't spend that, I'm not going to do that for what I have left in forty percenters. I really don't have a lot of them, but um, <clears throat> I plan on uh, figuring something out. <clears throat> Eight four forty. Thank you guys. Wolfie, I will definitely definitely check out what, what he does. Um, matter of fact, that reminds me, guys, not tomorrow night, but next Monday, on Seeker's channel will be the uh, four way panel. Me, Seeker, Rob, and a lucky guest. 
Silverleaf, I just pulled a handful of nickels out of my bank bag. It had a 45D war huh, nickel and a 38 key date. Boom. Nice, man. You can't go wrong with that. <clears throat> Josh Voss says, blah, so do what you do is feels right. <laughs> Thanks, brother. You guys are awesome. <clears throat> I love this room of people, man. I, I really honestly have a great time with you guys, and you know this. You know, it, it does. It makes a big difference in my day to be able to interact with everybody. Um, you know, and I think it's going to be a lot of fun uh, going forward with having the moderators having a, a mods as a guest starting off first. And guys, make sure to check out Ida Herring's channel for the Cancer Quilt fundraiser that she's doing. There's a link right there from Canadian Ryan. Don't forget tonight also uh, the big show with Paula Bloom is on. And also uh, JW Coins and Hobbies on tonight. How do you sign up for to be on the show? Just send me an email, uh, my friend. Or, or, or you mean the Monday show? That is being mostly, we're doing that mostly through Seeker and Rob. Um, if you're interested, you can send me a... Uh, a, um, an email and I will let them know hey you know this person's interested but I know that for for the show with me Rob and Seeker we've got quite a bit going on for that Thomas tripped on a nickel Thomas Tone thank you my friend Jagwell says I want to hear some, some mod stories about bouncing peeps <laughs> yeah Jag Wolf you know back in the day I used to bounce some people out of the uh places I was on like a uh, half dollar make you holler and whatnot okay so yeah there's the big show with Paula Bloom that's on tonight uh, JW coins and hobbies is on tonight um, I don't remember who else all right guys up next ashes C2 Come on. Got a copper pool for Ashes C2. Gina R. What's going on, Gina? Hope, you, hope you're doing well. Yep, the big show is tonight. Matter of fact, guys, you want to make it over to the, the comment video if you haven't already. If you win a big show uh, package, you're doing really, really well. All right, so ashes, there is that, and then we get seven rolls. So here we go, two, four, six, seven rolls. Let's rock it, guys. So all the shout-outs are done for uh, channels tonight. Uh, like I said, this coming Monday, it'll be Seeker. Um, mods that are in the room, if you want to be... Uh, the guest for next week, so for, hey, we got an NIFC 2014. Um, if you want to be the guest for my Thursday and Sunday show next week, email me, and uh, between who's there, I'll, we'll, you know, we'll just pick, and then I'll make a list of, okay, you know, let's say J-Dog says he wants to do it. Then a J-Dog will be number one, number two, number three, you know, we'll do that. We'll make up a, a little bit of a schedule that shows um, you know how long they're on there and whatnot, and I think that'll be a lot of fun, guys. I really do. I think you get some good ideas out of 1986. We can't handle the proof. Another proof coin, guys. That's number four. Chris Nav says, "Come on, Silver." Chad Smiths, I would love to be a mod. Well, Chad, um, you know, you never know. That might happen sometime, brother. I've been known to award people mod uh, spots here and there that, you know, have inquired. Uh, a lot of that happens when I see somebody that's really helpful, um, you know, in the show and doesn't really have to do, uh, you know, I, I didn't have to say much for them to start helping out. Um, you know, that, that goes a long way. Being positive and chat and active and whatnot, you know. Um, and I think that goes the same for any channel that you're hanging out on that you want to be a part of, you know. 
And uh, Chad Smith's cool. I appreciate it, bro. You know, and I'll keep that in mind. You, you never know when uh, when you might see a blue wrench, you know. But but definitely, um, I, I pick mods. I want mods to be here because they want to be here. Not because they feel, you know, like they're too overprivileged or whatnot. Larry Powell, the second, what's going on? Or they feel, I don't want anybody to feel obligated, you know. I want you guys to be here because you're having fun. Uh, and we'll be having some new merch coming out as soon as we can get a decent Peppa picture made. Uh, we had one that was really, really cute. But once you tried to put it on product, it became too pixelated and made for a bad picture. So we're going to, um, you know, keep trying. We're going to get one that eventually works and then make some Peppa merchandise because you guys have been asking and I want to make it happen for you. Yep, budget bullion, right. Sometimes you show up and boom, surprise. <laughs> you just never know, man. Um, and, and that's something that I also respect when people ask, you know. Thank you, J-Dog. I appreciate it, brother. I know tonight my conversation's a little bit on the slower side. I'm a little tired. I'm still really honestly, you know, under the weather, but good enough that I'm not hacking and, and whatnot in anybody's ear. Speaking of helpful, Michael Hargis showed me the ropes my first time. Thank you, Leslie W. Michael Hargis is a good dude. And if he wants to uh, wants to be a, a mod, um, maybe down the road. I don't think he's ever asked to be one. But I do appreciate you letting me know. Thank you, Budget Bullion. And guys, on the mods, whoever gets picked first or whoever wants to go first that kind of thing if there's no rhyme or reason if there's enough people asking i'll probably just put names in a bag and pull from there sin scenes how you doing sin welcome to the show hope you're having a good evening a lot of good people here we're giving away some silver we got about a little over half a box to get through, and then we have an end of stream giveaway. In that end of stream, we have a 64 quarter, a 1960-something proof nickel, two NIFCs, a couple stickers, and a 1943 AU walker. Is it possible to be a mod if you use your phone? Uh, Walter Winner, it's a little bit harder because... Uh, phones don't always act that great, but I know there's some people in here that do it. Hey, Ashes, how you doing, bro? Ashes, we only got you, uh, we got you a proof, an NISC, your ounce of silver, you got a copper pull tonight. And I do appreciate it, my friend. Vincent Porcella says, I'll take your silver. <laughs> nice. Uh... Yeah, Sin Scenes, good to see you. Hope you're having a good day. And uh, guys, we're at 80 likes so far. Not too shabby. For Super Bowl Sunday, I'll take that any day. All right, guys, up next is Mustang Dave. Mustang Dave has two, four, six, seven. Here's his eighth roll, one of his rolls from tonight. And he always he gets the last roll of the box, so I'm actually grabbing the last roll. These are the two box rolls that he won. All right, Mustang Dave, Walter Winner. Okay, we'll figure something out. I'll put Marmello on yours. I remember. Okay. We'll have to write that all down, too. Hoping to find some silver, guys, because honestly, we've had four streams in a row of CRHs with silver, and I'm starting to think that we only have a little over half a box left, that we might be skunked on silver tonight, you know. Jag Will says, Mustang looking good. Matter of fact, I need to do the pull for Mustang. 
I almost forgot to do that, and that would be not cool. Fishing Fool, 1972. How you doing, man? I love fishing. I want to go fishing really, really bad, guys. I mean, and that's partly due to some cabin fever setting in. You know, let's see here. All right. Getting a silver dime. Getting himself a Merc. Boop. Put it right there. Correlation. If Ravenhawk does Suzuki, does Mustang Dave do the Mustang Rumble? <laughs> That'd be awesome. Uh, budget bullion. Don't worry, my friend. Maria says, I sound much better. I haven't coughed. And can't wait to hear you sing. Thank you. I, I I think I coughed like a couple times at the beginning of the stream. But yeah, it's a lot better than it has been. That's for sure. Um, because it has been bad. Um, if you heard the little ones cough, oh my goodness, guys. When I, when I heard the cough, I literally, I, I was like, oh my God, my kids have COVID. You know, and then, uh, you know, took them. I didn't take them. The wife took them to the doctor doctor checked him out and no covid thank goodness um because honestly honestly when when i heard them coughing i thought that was uh pretty bad for my future you know but what do you do i mean there's a good chance that if i got covid i i could make it but if i get one of the Worse strains, I'm even in more trouble then. And life is, you know, it's one of those things. <laughs> Budget bullion. <laughs> That's funny. They say once you're over 30, never, never trust a fart over 30. <coughs> That's funny, though. Mustang Dave, Mustang Dave had to shack up in a hotel room for 14 days, guys, for his COVID. So, you know, he knows what's up. The COVID's scary. Boom, 43S says Silverleaf. Nice, man. You found yourself a war nickel. War. Huh. Nickel. What is it good for? About a dollar fifty. Say it again. Huh. <laughs> Man, J Ram said I had COVID but no symptoms. Man, J J Ram, you're lucky. You're really lucky, my friend. No, no sil or no, uh, no bad parts of COVID. You just had it and it didn't affect you. You know, I'm honestly thinking too that some of it has to do with also. Uh, hey, we got silver! Ha ha ha! Woo! The streak continues. 1969S, baby. 40%er. I don't know why I said S. D. Uh, 1960 Denver, 40%er. We got silver. And that is stream number five in a row. All right, guys. That means can we finally get six? Finally, J Dog called it. He said we're going to get some silver. And we got one. Now if we could just get more. And you can see, I wasn't really thinking we were going to get any silver. But, you know, guys, that's one of the reasons you have to look at all the dates. You know? If you don't look at the coins, you're not going to find them. And I've watched a stream or two that sometimes I look at it and I go, what the heck, guys? Um, guys, this is actually Mustang Dave's Rolls. Ashes C2 was the one before Papa Frank. Um, so these are Mustang Dave. But I appreciate the enthusiasm, of course, because you guys are rock. I really, that's one of the things that makes me smile the most, guys, is the amount of positivity and support that you guys show each other is very, very awesome, you know? 
And uh, Kennedy looks as he's just cleaned out the chimney, no doubt, huh? And you know what I've been noticing? The 40 percenters that we've been finding, they're all coming from the same person because they all have that same weird look. All right, guys. Up next is Ty Hitman. Ty Hitman with a 50 spot. Throw in. And here we go. Silver Dime. Going to Ty Hitman. And we have seven rolls. Here we go. Two, four, six. Roll seven. Let's do it. Ty Hitman, thank you for being a good sport all the time, brother. 2015 NIFC. That's number 15 tonight. Whew. Mustang Dave. Bag pull. Yeah, you got a Mercury Dime, Mustang Dave. I did your bag pull. It was Silver Dime. If you go back and look, you'll see I did it. Because you have two Silver Dimes in there. One that you won from the mid... Uh, from this morning, and then one that you got for your pool, my friend. No worries at all, Mustang. I appreciate you saying something. You know me. I will definitely make it good for you, no matter what. Raven, how are you, sir? Edwin Vasquez, my brother from Philly. What's going on, man? Good to see you. Been a while. Hope you're having a good night. Hope you're enjoying the Super Bowl. And thank you for coming and visiting me on Super Bowl Sunday. And guys, I honestly really figured that this crowd tonight would only be like 20, maybe 30 people because a lot of people love Super Bowl. And the fact that we have a whole bunch of people in here, 76 people, 80 likes, can't go wrong at all. 73 degrees in Arizona right now. Man, makes me want to live in Arizona again. I lived in Arizona for a little while. Two different times when I was a kid for a year each in Glendale and Phoenix. I like Arizona a lot, guys. Arizona is a cool place. Except the weather sucks. <laughs> you know? I'm sorry, but the heat is just... It's, it's, it's oppressive. Um, but... Uh, shark bait lucky. Shark bait. Ooh ha ha. What's going on, brother? Every time I see him, it reminds me of, uh, of course, Finding Nemo. And then I start thinking more about Finding Nemo. And I love it when Dory says, Yes, I'm a natural blue, when she's dreaming. Guys, I'm keeping the fingers crossed. Nope, it's a 72. Darn it. Some of those transition years have a very distinct, almost silver look to them even though they're not silver. Lincoln Central, what's going on, brother? It's a dry heat, but it's still heat. How many magnets do I have coming my way? Uh, Mustang Dave, I do not know how many magnets you have, man. I know you won one today. Uh, but I think you have two. I'll have to look in your nest and Mustang. Mustang, for the next uh, thing, we'll have to do. Uh, for the next stream, if you have three and you want to give away one or whatever, we'll do that. I keep thinking of Finding Nemo 2, then you do the cheer. <laughs> hey, remember, it's Mount Wanahakalugi. And there's plenty of people that want a magnet, so that's for sure, guys. So... One of the Mustang Dave magnets, that if he wants to give it away, we will do that. We'll have to do it on the next show. Unless he wants me to reach in and, and pull the one that's there right now, that's totally his choice. Um, Mustang, if you want me to put your uh, magnet on tonight's end of stream, you can do that if you want. Um, it's up to you. It's your magnet to do whatever you wish. All right, guys, in an unprecedented move, the one and only Mustang Dave is giving up the magnet, guys. Mustang's a good guy. I've actually met Mustang Dave in real life. 
and that is awesome, guys. So you know what? Since Mustang Dave is being a stand-up dude and he added that to the end of stream, I'm going to do something too. What am I going to do? What do we not have up there? You know what? Let's do this. I'm going to give somebody... Whoever wins is going to get a wheat penny pull. There's 20 random Wheaties in there out of my weedy box. And, uh, yeah. So add that in conjunction with that. And we're also going to add a Merc Silver Dime, guys. So there we go. The end of stream now has a quite a bit more plus a chance at one of the coveted limited edition magnets, guys. So very, very cool. To Joan says, nom, 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 nom. Guys, I heard that uh, that Dots makes a cheddar version, a curl, cheddar cheese curl like a Cheeto. So now I need to find the Dots version of Cheetos, guys. I want to try that out because the Dots pretzels, you know how much I love them. Chris Nab, another killer industry giveaway. Ringin' Constitutional. Good to see you, Ringin'. Yeah, the EOS is not too shabby. Ty Hitman, brother. We only got you an NIFC. And uh, thanks, Maria. I try. I'm, I'm, I try, you know. All right, guys, so up next is going to be Mr. Marmello for four rolls instead of Walter Winter. As a matter of fact, while I'm doing that, I want to write this down. So this is Mr. And then Walter Winter. Guys, Ringing Constitutional with a $5 super chat says, Hello, my friend. Thank you, brother. That is awesome. 25 for Thursday. And then Chris Nab is 100. All right. And I, I don't know if I have anybody else I'm missing there, but. All right. And since I am out of uh, War Nichols, you got lucky, you're getting yourself. A silver dime, and I keep pulling out the wrong thing here. Let's see what happens. All right. Wheat penny pool, ladies and gentlemen. So he's going to get a bag of wheats. There's 20 Wheaties. And Edwin Vasquez with a $5 super chat here to support my brother Raven. Thank you, bro. I appreciate that. And, guys, what I did is I bought a bag of wheats at the, the local. I didn't buy it. I had a bag of wheats bought. And Miss Raven basically just cracked open all the rolls, dumped them in a bag, and pulled 20. What's that noise? Hello? Oh. All right. So here we go. Larry Powell. Thank you, brother. We try. We try. Michael Hargis, they are an awesome, amazing pretzel that I talk about quite a bit. You can find them at Target, but I recently found out that they're making a Cheeto-type version. Um, they also have a Spicy Southwest one that I haven't tried yet that comes in a blue bag. I've, I've only done the red bag of Dots, and they are good. Peppa Chew and Morgan Dansko, no worries. <laughs> Oh, uh, that's funny. Menards has them, says 47420. Nice. All righty, guys. Come on. Where's the silver? You know, it is amazing that there's only one 40% or so far. I would hope that we get at least a couple more just to legitimize the box even that more, you know? If it's not coins, it's Dots pretzels. <laughs> and whatever we're going to eat for dinner, you know. Matter of fact, guys, I am starving like Marvin, guys. 
I mean, I could eat a horse right now. <laughs> uh, it reminds me of Mr. Ed. A horse is a horse, of course, of course, of course, is a horse, of course, of course. The famous Mr. Ed. They have not hit the East Coast yet, says Papa Frank Guido, but when they do, he's all over it. Michelle E. Barola. What's going on, Michelle? Good to see you. Good to see you. Hope you're having a good evening. And staying nice and warm on this winter day in February. And definitely thank you for coming and hanging out with Raven. All right, Mr. Marmello. You wouldn't like it, neither would the horse. <laughs> Catman, that's funny. Thank you. Feels good to be here. I need family today. Michelle, well, I'm glad you're here, and thank you for calling us family. The Norms442, what's up? Chad Schmidt saying hello. All right, so this is Mr. Mar... Mello. All right, Mr. Marmello in the mix. All right, up next, ladies and gentlemen, is Wolfie Olin. Wolfie has two, four. Wolfie's got four. She's going to get herself a couple mercs. And a pull from the Raven Relic bag. Boom. You know what? I'm going to redo that one. Let's give her a different chance. Let's give her one more chance. <laughs> it hit Weedy again. So she's getting the Weedies. All right, Wolfie. So here we go. I gave it a double pull. DDO's on an 80, a 58 Denver Penny. Um... You know what, J Ram? I would go over and ask on tonight in about an hour or half an hour, 45 minutes, the big show with Paula Bloom. A big hat burger from the Hat Burger, Hat Creek Burger Company. Nice. Um, I would go over to Paula Bloom's show and uh, the called the big show and see if you might be able to get that question answered. Um, I know that there's a number of uh, errors, you know, like that in wheats. I don't know all of them off, off the top of my head, uh, but that uh, panel over there um, on the big show, Shay and and Paula know a lot of the errors offhand. Um, uh, I could also say if you can get your hands on a cherry picker's guide. Um, you might be able to look at eBay for some examples of something that's sold. Yeah, J Ram, no problem, my friend. No problem. And uh, but yeah, but Paula Bloom is is a good good source to talk to. Variety Vista is another good spot, Chris Nab. That's true. I forgot to 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 mention that one. See, that's why I'm glad I got you guys here. You guys rock. You guys rock, 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 rock. All right. Come on, Wolfie. Let's get some silver. I, I get back from a five-day road trip, which was off the hook. Then as I pass through Sacramento, find out. Oh, Michelle, I am so sorry to hear about your loss, my friend. Wow. Guys, man, big hugs to Michelle. Wow, that's that's not, you know, that goes to show you guys, you, you just never know, you know. RFT Penny Mat, ah, there you go, I think I found one from Vis Variety Vista, nice. Uh, yeah, condolences to Michelle. Hey, the Numismaniac, what's up Numismaniac, how you doing? Alrighty, Wolfie, 
thank you very much for donating tonight. I'm sorry we didn't get you any extra silver. Yeah. Well, Michelle, there's a lot of people here that, that really, you know, are good people that you can definitely talk to. We, we are all feeling for you. All right, guys. So last seven rolls going to Josh Voss. Here we go. Two, four, six, seven rolls going to Josh. And he gets an ounce of silver and a pull for a silver dime. I have to go pack her room up and do funeral arrangements. Wow, Michelle, I'm sorry. I really, really am. <sighs> All right, guys, come on. Let's uh, hopefully Josh does well in his rolls, and then we'll do our end of stream giveaway. And we'll have a good evening. And you really never know, you know, people take people take one another for granted, and yet, you know, things happen so fast sometimes. Let's find some silver. I agree. All righty, come on. See some interesting edges, but it's a 74. Two 74s, they had the same kind of edge. It probably just came out of a set. You know, I found out the other day that the mint strike for the mint sets is different than the business strike, which I had always thought that the uncirculateds were the same uh, strike. But uh, nope. Kind of surprised me. Katie Bailey says, let's go, Silver. <clears throat> Guys, I think we have something. Ha-ha! <laughs> Look at that. 1964. 90%er, baby. Boom! Woo! That is gorgeous. Ha-ha! <laughs> All righty, so Josh Voss getting the 90%er out of the last of the box. Look out. That is too cool. <laughs> he says, yes, sir. Boom. Maria says, yay. Ringing Constitutional says, legit. Yeah, that's a nice looking one, too, on top of it. Very cool. We needed that. We needed that for sure. Nice little punch in the arm right before the end. And uh, Josh, congratulations. And guys, that's five streams in a row that we've pulled silver. And that is really, really cool. Hopefully that continues into the next stream and on. It has been an awesome two months here in Oklahoma. That's for sure. Actually, it's only just barely over a month because it's only the seventh of the month. Um, so, you know, in a month's time, we'll have searched 18, well, 20 boxes and have found, you know, quite a bit. Half a roll, a little over half a roll of 90 percenters, a couple rolls of 40 percenters, two and a half rolls, actually. So that's not bad at all, guys. Cannot complain there. And Josh, I'm no, you, you know, can't go wrong when you get a nice $14 coin for 50 cents. Hey, plus an NIFC, which is number 16 on the NIFCs tonight. NIFCs coming in strong. And we even have proofs. I really want to find a magic coin or a 70 Denver. 
That would be awesome. Peter Bowes. Oh, guys, I forgot to do Suzuki for the silver that we found. Hey, Peter, um, I feel really bad. I was clearing out some boxes and stuff, and I found we have a package of stuff for you that has not been sent out, brother. So that'll be going up in the very near future. Lil Peep, what up? What up, brother? How you doing? You're, you're here just at the right time, Lil Peep. We're just about to wrap up the stream, and we have a pretty cool... Into stream silver giveaway going to happen here in just a minute. But Peter Bowes, my friend, I have a package for you uh, that I owe you. <clears throat> and I don't want to forget. All right. So Josh Voss, congratulations. Lost package in the nest, says Mustang Dave. Yes, sir. All right, so let me get all this in here for Josh. And then we'll lay out the industry giveaway. Firm handshake, says Lil Peep. That's for sure, brother. Firm handshake and a lick right in the eye. All right, guys, thanks to Mustang Dave, somebody's going to get number 11, the magnet, because... Uh, I hadn't dated his or numbered his yet. So this is number 11. And there you go. NIFC to the end of stream for Josh. Okay, cool. All right, guys. So Josh Voss is donating an NIFC to the end of stream. So let me tell you what we got here in just one second, guys. We got a beautiful 1943 AU Walker. This thing is probably closer to BU, but my guy always undergrades a little bit. As you can see, there's some nice natural cartwheeling to this coin still for mint luster. You're going to get that. You're going to get yourself 20 Wheaties, a bag of 20 Wheats. You got a silver mercury dime. And I'm not even sure what year it is. I didn't even look. 1924. I don't see a mint mark, but hey. Silver dime. Silver quarter. Three NIFCs. A proof. Two stickers. And the number 11 magnet. We're going to make this a pretty quick end of stream giveaway. You're only going to have two minutes to enter, ladies and gentlemen. That is right. Two minutes. So give me a second here. And uh, get your entries in. Good luck, everybody. And I want to say thank you to all the mods. You guys are amazing, awesome people. I really can't thank you enough. CM Silver, Jesse O, Papa Giorgio, Budget Bullion Stacker, Lil Peep, Silver Streak, Peter Bowes, Brass Junkie, Canadian Ryan, J Dog, Budget Bullion Stacker, Sergeant Stacker, uh, Pro Slice 56, and all the other mods that couldn't be here. A big thank you to everybody. And, of course, my brother, j Dog. Oh, you didn't know. You better call somebody. <laughs> All righty. So let's get that made up here. <clears throat> get all this into one big giant bag here. And I want to protect that walker as much as possible. So I'm going to put that in its own little plastic baggie here. And uh, Z Rich Coins, how you doing? Little Peep says glad. Thank you, little Peep. All right, put all this in here. And good luck to whoever gets this because you're also getting a, a magnet. And guys, I'll tell you this. We sold a magnet in the auction the other night, and it went for quite a bit. So for Mustang Dave to just give away his magnet, that shows 
What a really true, cool gentleman he is for doing that for everybody because he could do something with it. So just a really, really cool guy. All right, what's up, Scorpio? Scorpio in the house. A big thank you to everybody for all the super chats as well. You guys are unreal, and I can't thank you enough. All right, guys, we're going to pick the winner in three, two, one. Boom. Josh Voss. Holy smokes, Josh. <laughs> Congratulations, man. That is unreal. Look at that. Josh Voss getting himself the Walker, the Dime, the Quarter, the NIFCs, everything to go along with it. He was the last he was he was the person that sold out the box tonight. Look at that. He says wow. So congratulations to Josh. And uh so guys, make sure any of you Mr. Marmello with another $5 New Zealand style super chat. Thank you. He said this was awesome. And Mr. Marmello, you're awesome yourself, brother. Guys, please remember, anybody that is interested in being a guest on coin roll hunting with me, let me know. We're going to start off with some moderators, whoever's interested as a mod, and we'll do it in one week runs. So to do a Thursday and a Sunday show, and then we'll do it like that. We'll we'll do one week runs and uh, yeah. So if you're interested, please put in the title, you know, guest. Uh, little peep says, "Told my mom." <laughs> nice little peep. Uh, so if you guys want to be a guest, you need to let me know and put it in the subject line. Hey, K. Emmanuel, Louis Taylor, have a great night, my friend. Uh, Maria Cervantes, have a good night. Larry Powell II, thank you. And yeah, we're going to have a little fun with that. You know, I think that it'll be fun. Uh, we'll, we'll have a second camera coming up where you're going to see my face and a little more interaction as well. And uh, yeah, so a lot of cool stuff to come in the very near future, guys. Like always, please make sure to take where, <laughs> take where, take care of one another. And like always, Ravenhawk Coins, have a great day.